Hi, this is Kevin, and I'm going to show you how to set up some processing rules in Site Catalyst 15. Now, to find processing rules, they're going to be in the Report Suite Manager. Just go under Edit Settings, General, and Processing Rules. That's going to open up this screen. Here you can see I've already got four processing rules set, and they're going to be listed in the order in which they will be processed. Now, this order is very important because you can set up new processing rules that are affected by previous rules that you have set. So for example, this first rule that I've set up would be to set Prop 20 always with a particular value. I could now set a new processing rule which looks at the value of Prop 20 which was already set in the first rule and do, do a couple actions based on what that value is. Now to change the order of the processing rules, it's really simple. Just grab it and you can move it up and down. So let's go ahead and set up a new processing rule. To do that, just click the Add Rule button. Now a processing rule is made up of two parts, a condition and an action. The condition functions basically like a giant if statement. If this is true, or if this is false, or if this is whatever, then do the action. A condition is not required, but an action always is. Let's say in this processing rule, I wanted to capture the value of the page URL and always put it into prop one. What I will do here is not have any conditions since this is something I want to always happen and come down here and leave it as set the value of, I'm gonna want prop one. and set it to the page URL. Now by clicking save, the page URL is always going to be captured into prop one. Now let's see what else we can capture. Into prop two, I can set maybe the page name, the report suite ID, IP address, user agent, query string parameters. This is great since you no longer need the get query param plugin in your S code file. I can set up new query parameters and capture them right here on the fly without ever touching the code. You also have the ability to set events. So instead of setting the value of a prop, let's go ahead and set an event. I can set event one to a value of one. So now what, what will happen is on every single page load, event number one is going to be set neat thing about processing rules is you can set a custom number of events to happen at that one time almost like treating it as a numeric event but not having to use the whole product string bit in your code so now what I can do I could change that to a 2 now this rule right here if I save this on every single page load would set 2 of event 1 every single time but let's say I didn't want this to happen on every single page load. Let's go ahead and add in a condition. So let's say I only wanted to set this event only on my home page. So I can select if page URL equals my home page, then we're going to set event one just one time. So now I can click save. This rule will set event one on every view of my home page. Something else I could do is I could give this page its own name right from here. I can set the value of page name to a custom value of home. So now, whenever that page URL comes across, event one will be set and it's gonna have the name of home. Now something else we can do, we can also delete values. I can also delete the value of let's say evar1. So now whenever the page URL equals that exact string, event one is going to be set, the page name will be set to home, and I'm going to delete out the value of evar1 if that happens to be set anywhere. Okay, what else can we do with processing rules? Let's go ahead and remove a couple of these actions here. Let's say I want to set the channel variable for a certain section of my site. What I can do is if the page URL contains a particular folder. Let's say 
let's say I've got the folder of about in my URL. So whenever this the word about appears in the URL, let's set the value of the channel to a custom value of about. So what I've done here now is I've looked for a particular string that is going to appear in my URL. I know that's going to be my about type of site section and I'm going to go ahead and I can name it here. And once I have the rule set up exactly how I want it, I can come down here and type in the reason for the rule. So now when others in your organization come along and see this rule, they're going to know why you decided to set it. There's tons of great things you can do with processing rules. Once your organization gets access to Site Catalyst 15, I really recommend going there, taking a look at it, and seeing what you can do for your organization.